Walmart. What the fuck? Hi everyone, Donut here. Have you ever seen a cop get kidnapped? Because that's what you're gonna see today. Well, he kind of gets kidnapped while physically fighting for his life with a much larger dude. This is a pretty wild video that we're gonna be breaking down today. Maybe even more wild than my last video where an entire neighborhood showed up with guns to help cops shoot their ah. asshole neighbor. Yes. yes! In the head! We're both head. In the head! Full oh, officers! In the head! The one we're breaking down today could even be more wild than Florida woman letting those intrusive thoughts win and ramping her car off of a tow truck and going 120 feet in the air. But first, a word from our sponsor, DillDash. DillDash is an auction website that's been around for about 15 years, and it's super easy to use. Head on over to DillDash.com slash Donut Operator and buy some bids. They're going for 13 cents right now. Scroll down, find something you might want to bid on. Hit bid now, and look, I'm winning. If the timer runs out, I'll get this for 96 cents. Knives. This is an auction website, so there's no guarantee of winning, but if you're into this kind of thing, it's pretty fun. What else do they have? Mmm, cooking. Travel flask, why I love drinking. Let's check out some of the stuff that's been won lately. Four air tags, those are pretty expensive. Eight bucks. iPhone 13 Pro final bid, $81. $1,700 watch for 39 cents, Jesus. You might win, you might not, but you get a 90 day money back guarantee on your first bid pack purchase. Dillnash.com slash donut operator. People be stealing cops, let's do it. I mean, don't steal cops. Don't steal cops, folks. Steal the ducks from your local pond. They're completely free. Globalists don't want you to know. <laughs> you can just take the ducks to the park. I have 174 ducks in my basement. Ah. A police officer was doing some good old patrolling when Suddenly, his license plate reader started going off on his computer. You see, some police cars are equipped with these little boxes on the roof. Those are plate readers that are constantly running tags 360 degrees around the police car. When the police car drives by someone on the road and their plates are expired or the vehicle is stolen, it sends an alarm to the computer in front of the officer. A lot of people actually claim that this system is a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights. They say that it's unreasonable search and seizure for that thing to be scanning people's tags at all times, but that's a video for another time. So this police officer is driving around town when his computer starts screaming at him that he drove past a stolen vehicle. It just so happens to be this U-Haul truck at the gas station right there pumping some gas. U-Hauls are commonly used to transport large quantities of drugs or other illegal stuff. Those trucks are pretty bare bones and are easy to break into, and most independent U-Haul businesses don't get GPS trackers on them. Perfect targets for stealing. Just like the ducks at your local park. Cop sees a dude wandering around near the U-Haul. He walks over to him. He says, hey man, is that your truck? And the guy, like an idiot, goes, yeah, that's my truck. I guess he thought the cop was just going to walk away because he's an honest man. Not a good man though, you'll see in a minute. The cop takes him back over to his car and he says, hey, look, this is stolen. Until we figure this out, I'm going to detain you. And remember, being detained is not an arrest. That's where a lot of people get it mixed up. That guy didn't want to get detained and he tenses up and starts looking around the side of the officer. What could he be looking at? Probably a way out of this situation. Hey, sir. Can I get something? Driving to U-Haul? Yeah. Yeah, can you talk to me real quick over here? Of course. All right, we're going to go right over here, man. What did I do? What? I said, what did I do? All right. It's right here. All right. Right here, you're being detained, okay? So this report, For what? This report's stolen. Why? Right. Since hey, when? You're not in a restaurant. You're just being detained, okay? What's report is stolen? Right. What the ah. f do you think the officer just said? I don't know. The big ah. f***ing truck you just stole? Tom Bravo, hold the channel, send me a unit to Sicko up here by North Walmart. What the fuck? Sir, you're done. Get out my gun. Sicko one, Sicko one, Sicko one, go to my gun. What's your point of summer? Sir, get off my gun. Sicko one, Sicko one, just throw it off, Sicko one. Sir, you're not going to jail right now, right? Get off my gun. Nah, you're going to I'm not going to. That's a pretty beefy dude, and he's way bigger than that cop. This is a pretty scary situation right here. The officer's literally fighting for his life inside of his own patrol car now. If you look, he tried really hard to get that gun out of the officer's holster. Let's not jerk that pistol and go to work. He did. 
didn't get the officer's gun and that's probably because he doesn't know how retention holsters work. 99% of cops carry a level three retention holster, meaning that you have to do three different things to get the gun out. I found a great example explaining this close up from another YouTube channel. Three in this case, I have three points of locking retention. Okay, so when I push this button, that pushes the, so this is one basically, so one is to push that down, two is to push it forward, the third one is the ALS button in the back. And that's why the bad guy cannot get that cop's gun. Why am I pointing so much in this video? Still animated today, boys. Still ducks. Oopsie daisy, someone put that car into reverse and it backs into one of the most dangerous places on earth. That's right, the war zone, which is a McDonald's parking lot. Let's watch some of the body camera footage of the officer who is being attacked right there. I want to hear what this guy is saying. Gun. Get off my gun! Let's go for my gun! Let's go for my please, gun! Please, let, please just get back. What the ah. f is wrong with this guy? He's telling the cop to get back after he started trying to kick his ass, take his gun, and pushed him into his own patrol car. Which I'm guessing he pushed him in the car because he was trying to conceal the fact that he was about to kill that cop and was hoping no one around would notice. Let's jump over to the body camera footage of the- I'm still f***ing pointing. What is wrong with me? Let's jump over to the body camera footage of the first cop who arrived on scene to help his buddy. That's a scary call to respond to because he had his radio and he was screaming into his radio, he's got my gun, he's got my gun. He ran up right when the car was kicked into reverse. What a f***ing crazy scene to pull up to and see. This next part is some sketch ass shooting if I do say so myself. And I'm not saying anything bad about the officer. This was just scary as shit. Not only with the McDonald's in the background in the middle of the day, but the distance at which he is shooting the dude who is still on top of the officer. Let's watch this Pucker Factor 9000 real quick. Dude, the first time I watched that, I was like, there is no way he didn't just shoot the other cop. At least one time. Let's just, just, let's keep going. We'll check out the body camera for the other officer who arrived on scene to help out their homie. In the car. In the car. What car? The SUV. In the SUV. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. He's on top of me. Watch, watch crossfire. Watch crossfire. <laughs> That officer pulls the dude off of the top of the cop. I guess he's still moving or they think he might still have his gun. So that officer gives him three shots at point blank. In the next part, even the cops think that they had to have hit the other cop. They start frantically ripping his clothes off looking for bullet wounds and they found none. The cop didn't get hit. I have no idea how there was no over penetration through the guy. I also have no idea how one of those many bullets didn't just hit the cop somewhere. Technically, the guy trying to kill the cop saved his life, absorbed all of those bullets. He was a fantastic bullet sponge. I wish there was more info to what was in the U-Haul or like what the guy's history was. I can't find any. Maybe he had some crazy shit in that U-Haul or he just didn't want to go back to jail. Maybe he was a felon or both. If you want to watch the uncensored footage of this video, you can go over to my raw police footage channel. It's called Donuts Raw Police Footage. If you want to help support the channel, you can go on over to donutoperator.com, buy some super sweet merch or subscribe to me, follow me on any of those other stupid platforms. Until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.